How far are we going today? Mm, I don't know, a couple miles. Got a lot of work to do today. Good run today. It's time to get to the office. See you in the lab. I'm Tara Storage and I'm a materials research engineer at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. I got my undergraduate degree in chemical engineering, but I use it and apply it to materials research. It makes a well-rounded combination. And actually I work at the Air Force Research Laboratory, so it's a lot of research and development for materials that are, we don't actually make airplanes, but we make the materials and stuff that you use to build the airplanes. And I also have a twin sister who also got her undergraduate degree in chemical engineering and works as a materials research engineer. The definition of a composite ma material is any two materials put together in which their properties together are better or more unique than those properties alone. The advantages of using a composite, we get um, high strength to weight ratio, which you don't see in metals so much. So. So they're lightweight, they're stronger than metals, and you can tailor them to just to the property that you need. At the Air Force Research Lab, we don't make airplanes. We'll make flat composite panels, and then we cut them up and we test them and we see what strengths are we getting, are we getting what we predicted, how do they perform in different environments, hot, wet, moisture, high humidity, erosion, how do they perform in cryogenic temperatures, very cold temperatures. I like to think of making composites as sort of like cooking. You have to think ahead, know what ingredients you need, make sure you have them all together at the same time, pull them together, make your part, put it in the what we call the autoclave or it's a pressure cooker. Once it goes through its cure cycle and it's it's baked, it's done. You pull it out, open it well, open up, open it up, pull it out, and you've got your final part. I first thought about becoming an engineer, probably in in junior high, um, just because that's when when you started getting a lot of those those more in-depth math classes. You, you had your, your algebra and your um, geometry. I didn't know I'd end up working with composites, but it's pretty cool. You find them everywhere, not only in airplanes, which is what I do a lot, but skis, bikes, sporting equipment, tennis rackets, golf clubs. In high school, I had a lot of, a lot of good science teachers, but specifically some good physics teachers and chemistry teachers and we'd also have physics and chemistry labs where we'd work work in pairs or teams and um, lab was always fun sometimes more fun than other days in that we'd we'd ha we'd see some some foaming that we weren't supposed to see or something but it was always fun in high school and even junior high my twin sister and I, we spent a lot of our time running. Running has been a part of our life and still is today. And I'd recommend to any student to get involved in extracurricular activities, like in my case, athletics, just to teach teamwork and discipline. College is definitely definitely necessary to become an engineer. The classes you take first are your your calculus, your um, then you can get into big words like your thermodynamics classes and your fluid fluid flow and heat transfer classes and your organic chemistry where you see all that chicken wire and those those molecules and stuff. Um, those are those are the classes that we you take for chemical engineering. On a daily basis, I definitely use my high school and college math and science classes anywhere from measuring out resin to formulating resins. Some of the other things I've used from college include the, the modeling, the, the differential equations, which you think you'll never see out 
outside of your textbook, but you really do use them um, to to fluid flow and heat transfer, and and how will the the resin flow across your part, and how fast will it go, and how long will it take? And engineering is a good background and basis for for any career, you can definitely specialize down the road into your chemical engineering, your aerospace, or your mechanical engineering, or even go into medical, the medical field, environmental, even attorneys, or, or things you don't think about, but it's a, it's a good basis for, for all the careers. There are a lot of things that excite me about engineering. Um, I, I get excited working here at Air Force Research Lab. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We have, um, it's exciting to, to be creative and invent. And just knowing that maybe this will eventually be on an aircraft or help solve a problem, that, that's, that's what gets me excited about being an engineer. A lot of the big challenges are when when people come to you with problems, with materials problems, materials issues that they need, a new solution, a creative solution, what they have now won't, won't work for them and they need something not off the shelf but you have to come up with that new idea. These challenges involve even what you learn, the scientific method where you have to come up with the experiment. You have, first you have your problem, you, your, you hypothesize a solution, you you come up with the experiment, you test it, and you analyze the results, the data, look at it, and check and see if you were right to begin with or if you have to do it all over and come up with a new new idea. I'm Tara. And I'm Kara. And we both got our degrees in chemical engineering, but we definitely do different different jobs. Um, we both work com with composite materials as well, but I work on larger scale parts. We do a lot of on-aircraft repair, whereas Tara, she's more in the lab, do, doing small scale formulating in the lab. But we both enjoy our jobs, and it brings us together sometimes. We do work on some projects together, so that's a lot of fun. Even though we're twins and we, we both majored in chemical engineering, I think I'm definitely glad with the decision I made and like I said it's a good good base for for anything so that the area that I'm in and, and the area that I'm in there there's still there's a wide variety That's there's a, they're still different even under the title of chemical, chemical engineering. engineering we work really hard and we enjoy being engineers but at the end of the day it's it's nice to go for a run <laughs>